Good afternoon. Welcome to Safecom Wireless's presentation on NFPA BDAs and FiberDAS and BBUs. Uh, we have 15 minutes, so let's get to it. Uh, this is what we are going to cover. Uh, the summary of the presentation is advanced design for lower cost installs. Uh, what we are presenting here is a product line that um, includes a modular format and multi-band capability and advanced filtering that can address your most challenging uh, installs. We're going to product uh, line review, give a product line overview. Uh, we're going to speak about the multi-band and interlaced frequency challenges and how we solve those. We're going to present that with a project example. And then we're going to talk about uh, the industry first lithium ion battery backup system. Uh, and then finally, we're going to close with a new introduction of a really uh, exceptional product, uh, the first integrated BDA with a BBU, with a battery backup unit internally. And then hopefully we'll have some time for uh, uh, questions at the end. <clears throat> uh, Safecom Wireless is a US-based uh, manufacturer. We are truly US-based. We have our offices in New Jersey, contract manufacturing in New Jersey and Pennsylvania, and uh, the ownership is American. Uh, we are a, um, B, both a BDA and FiberDAS manufacturer. We support all the public safety bands, and we only do public safety. Uh, we don't do commercial. We focus on uh, public safety because of its special needs. So we do VHF, UHF, 700, FirstNet, 800, and some of the remaining 900 pr uh, systems that are out there still. Uh, we also provide both Class A and Class B uh, BDAs, and we are UL certified. We provide an NFPA a battery backup system that we're going to talk about. We also have enunciators. And for those of you in the New York region, we also make a Channel 11, Channel 12 Arx repeater. I won't cover that in this presentation, but if uh, you're familiar with that and uh, you want to get some more information, we can talk afterwards. Uh, so here's the uh, multiband and interlaced frequency challenge. Um, everyone knows that uh, when an agency goes uh, gets frequencies, they get their allotment, and uh, at least in the UHF band, the uh, frequencies uh, are separated by a 3 and 5 megahertz uh, band. And the second agency will do the same, get their own uh, uplink and downlink bands. But what no one anticipated is that both of these systems would be uh, connected and integrated onto a common system. And there you have uh, interlaced frequencies. And of course, the frequency mix can get even much more complicated than just uh, two ages and two bands. So ideally, what you'd want to do is put a individual filter sized properly on each one of those bands, no matter how many you have, no matter how wide they are. Some may be class A filters, some may be class B filters. And that's essentially what we do with our solution. So what we have is a modular system, as you see here. Each one of those plug-in cards can be a full band, for instance, the full uh, 9 megahertz, uh, 800 megahertz band, or the 6 megahertz, 700 megahertz band, or any of the UHF and VHF bands or subbands. And with advanced filtering, uh, specifically um, superheterodyne receivers, which is the same filter technology that's used in uh, base stations, that's how we provide excellent um, uh, sub-filtering capability that can address those very close in frequencies. And in some cases, we have um, uh, integrated and shipped products with 30 kilohertz separations between uh, uplink and downlink in the VHF band, uh, all integrated into a 18-inch uh, NEMA. So let's um, uh, present a project uh, that uh, demonstrates the advantages of uh, this approach. We'll call it Project Alpha. It's a 3 million square foot facility. It's using both 800 megahertz and VHF frequencies, and the VHF frequencies are interlaced. And of course, there's a small space uh, allowed for the equipment, and so that's the challenge. So the bottom line in this uh, uh, challenge is uh, that when we compare it with other suppliers, um, Safecom solution is on the left. So this would be the head end side, for example. Um, the, um, the, the head end uh, unit is a fully integrated unit with a donor antenna port and then the fiber uh, ports serving the remotes. And then the BBU is a battery backup unit. In this case, both of the units are 18 inch uh, by 18 inch by seven inch deep uh, wall hang mount unit. The BBU is quite compact because of the lithium ion uh, technology. And here you see a summary of the volume that that solution takes up 2.6 cubic feet. 
and the weight of the two boxes together, including the battery, which is 100 pounds, versus uh, an alternative a solution, which uh, takes on a, a lot more. Uh, let me see if I can move this thing here, yeah. Um, so here you see, in this case, um, uh, the, uh, there's no integration of the two bands, uh, 800 megahertz and VHF need to be separate units, quite big and quite heavy and huge power consumers. Each one requires its own BBU. And then of course it requires a separate fiber uh, interface, which is not NEMA enclosed. So you're gonna have to provide your own NEMA box for that. And then uh, for the interlaced VHF, you're gonna have to get your own uh, duplexer for that very complex interlaced uh, frequency set. So all told, uh, these boxes occupy almost 10 cubic feet and weigh half a, uh, a five over 500 pounds. So that's you know, uh, quite a job in, um, in cost and shipping and handling it and mounting it and uh, integrating and then connecting it. Um, and so you can see the clear advantage of the highly integrated solution that um, Safecom can provide. Uh, on the remote side, it's a similar story. Um, here we can use the smaller BBU, which is a 15 by 11 inch box that powers uh, a remote. And again, the size and the weight is uh, quite reasonable. Um, most important on the uh, service side is that uh, you'd likely have to have a separate uh, uh, transmit and receive antenna system uh, because um, the other guys can't uh, handle the close in frequency with the uh, diplexing and the, or the duplexing and the filtering of the uh, interlaced frequencies, whereas we can provide all of that integrated in an 18 inch box and you can uh, more than half your time and expense um, required for the uh, installation and handling um, because of the high integration level. So it's a huge advantage in time and cost and uh, ultimately money. Okay, so now let's uh, address the um, backup battery unit. It's the industry first lithium ion backup battery unit. It's a modular uh, card system, just like the uh, BDA uh, solution is. It's easily expandable. It's uh, compact and lightweight. For instance, this is a uh, 15 by 11 inch by seven inch uh, NEMA enclosure, and it can handle a thousand watt hours, which would cover about 85% of our product line. Uh, for the few systems that uh, are larger, uh, the BBU would come in our 18 inch box. So the maximum size that it would ever be is uh, uh, 18 by 18 inches by seven inches off the wall. So really incredibly uh, lightweight and compact. Uh, we are NFPA compliant, so we provide uh, all the NFPA alarms of AC power, uh, battery level, and um, um, charger fail. And then we are UL listed. So let's take a look uh, on the inside of the unit and you can see the modular uh, blade system that we utilize. Um, there uh, are LEDs indicating you know, proper uh, function of the battery blades. There's a means to uh, plug in a meter, which we provide with the system that measures uh, the individual blade on its own and a switch to engage and disengage that particular blade. And in this case, you see our, again, our 15 inch uh, NEMA with four of the blades uh, populated. Uh, anything over a thousand watt hours would uh, go into the uh, 18 inch NEMA. And down below here is a control panel. So let's take a closer look at that. And so here's a control panel. Uh, starting with the left side, these two connectors are gonna be occupied when you get the unit. One has the uh, internal battery charger plugged into it. And then the other one has the AC power supply uh, plug it into it, supplying power to the system under AC conditions. Uh, the plug is conveniently located here from a charger because then you can disconnect it and exercise the um, uh, uh, charger fail uh, alarm. Uh, so that's there for convenience and makes it easy to get past uh, your inspection. Uh, this will be uh, permanently connected to the AC power supply. And then on the right side, here is the connection to the BDA. So we're gonna provide you with this uh, six foot uh, jumper uh, that uh, connects the BDA with the BBU. And uh, right there you have uh, powered up your BDA and delivered the NFPA alarms to the BDA. And so that all the NFPA alarms, including the BDA's uh, alarms of uh, antenna fail, amplifier and um, component uh, alarms uh, are enunciated um, through the uh, relays on the BDA. 
also convenient here, here we provide a um, EPO, an emergency power off switch connection. Many AHJs require that. You can simply connect a normally open or normally closed uh, external switch to these ports right here, and um, and you can uh, it uh, turns off the uh, uh, power to the BDA. Uh, this is an internal switch in parallel with that external switch. So again, you can um, turn off the uh, BDA power by clicking the switch. It comes with a couple LEDs, uh, which you get a color code and flash code to indicate the status of the um, um, uh, BBU. So again, very compact and convenient uh, size for um, uh, a BBU, uh, very different than the uh, lithium, uh, or I should say the lead acid battery um, uh, units that are out there that are extremely heavy and large uh, and often come with wheels on them, <laughs> indicating how large they are. Okay, so now let's introduce something really new and revolutionary. That's very exciting. Uh, we are introducing today the Blade. The Blade is the first of its kind integrated BDA with a battery backup system. That's right. So in one box, as small as 15 by 12 inches, you'll get a bidirectional amplifier and the battery backup in one unit. So you can imagine how much time savings that delivers in terms of um, integration and uh, and your you know your work on site. Uh, no multiple boxes to interconnect, um, and uh, really very quite simple and compact solution, first of its kind. Uh, initially, we're coming out with the uh, seven and eight hundred megahertz variety, including the dual band version. Uh, the unit is uh, very compact, 15 by 12 inches. Uh, there may be some variants uh, depending on uh, future expansions of bands that will be in an 18-inch box. The total weight, including the batteries, and integrated is less than 50 pounds. So really uh, quite an um, uh, easy unit to handle. And all of that uh, results in a low cost to you, both for the equipment and as well as uh, shipping and handling costs. And it really in improves and increases the uh, installation time uh, that, um, that you can experience. Let's take a look at the inside of the blade, and you can see a blade system. So here's your battery blade system, which utilizes the uh, lithium ion uh, blades that can be occupied with a 12 or 24 hour capacity. That's right, we can do 24 hour capacity in this unit under most conditions. Um, uh, and then there you have uh, the blades with the um, um, uh, multiple bands, uh, initially 700 and 800 and all integrated and all interconnected and all alarmed. So the alarms will come out of here. All the NFPA alarms are available, both for, both for the battery system and the, uh, and the BDA, and it makes for incredibly compact and, um, and, uh, and efficient um, install. So uh, this is gonna be available in the fall of this year. So please keep uh, tuned for that. Okay. Then in summary, uh, what we introduced was a uh, modular uh, product line, both for the BDA, fiber DAS, and uh, backup battery unit. Uh, we address and show you how we address the challenges of multi-band systems and uh, interlaced frequencies, um, where uh, we have a modular system that allows for uh, plug and play cards of uh, different bands and even an expansion of the capability by plugging in an additional card in the future. Let's say they you know, go with uh, um, 800 in UHF today and uh, in six months they want FirstNet. Well, that would be a matter of plugging in a couple of cards to add the FirstNet capability. Uh, we talked about a project example where you get tremendous uh, weight and uh, volume uh, uh, savings. We showed you the industry first lithium ion backup battery unit, and then truly a world first introduction of the integrated BDA and BBU. Um, and that uh, uh, is the, the presentation. And I think we have a few more minutes for questions. So uh, thanks very much for your time.